dear students we are going to continue the part 2 video of type 2 those who don't see the part 1 video of type 1 please go to the description you can find the link saw this video and come back to part 2 in the previous video we solved a problem when my rhs is simply sin ax plus by or cos ax plus by and then we solved this problem when my denominator value becomes zero when i calculate pi then as usual we pre multiply by x and differentiate the denominator with respect to d part now in this session we are going to deal how to solve the equation whose order is 3 let us go into the session and we solve this problem so i am going to take only that one pi which is required the second one is very simple you can do by yourself dq plus 7 d d dash square minus 6 d dash cube into z is equal to sin x plus I am going to consider only the PI1 because PI2 is very easy you can do by yourself. So in this session I am going to solve this problem in two different types. First one the classical way, the second one with alternative method that is a shortcut method. Whatever you like you can utilize it. Now for the case of CF I will directly write the answer. My auxiliary equation is m cube minus 7m minus 6 is equal to 0. Use your 991 ms calculator to find the roots. Don't waste the Time by solving the cubic equation. The roots are minus 1, minus 2 and 3. So my CF is F1 of y minus x plus F2 of y minus 2x plus F3 of y plus 3x. Next we have to solve for PI. Now we are going to find PI. My PI is going to be 1 by d cube minus 7 d d dash square minus 6 d dash cube sin x plus 2y. I am going to solve the problem in the classical way. So I need a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 from the given question. Now d square is replaced by minus a square that is minus 1. d dash square is replaced by minus b square that is minus 2 square minus 4. d d dash is replaced by minus a b that is minus 1 into 2 minus 2. Now we have to find the denominator. Now we are going to find the denominator the first term is d cube. I don't have d cube, I have d square. So I can write d into minus 1 d square value minus 7 into so either you can go for d d dash or d dash square it's up to you so i'm keeping d and i'm substituting d dash square that is minus 4 minus 6 into i keep 1 d dash and d dash square is again minus 4 simplifying this we'll be getting minus d plus 28 d plus 24 d dash so we'll be getting 27 d plus 24 d dash now i am going to proceed i will take 3 commonly out i will be getting 9d plus 8d dash so my pi is going to be 3 times 9d plus 8d dash sin x plus 2y as i said earlier in the previous video we can multiply and divide by d or we can multiply and divide by d dash i will go by d so i will be getting d by 3 times d into 9d plus 8d dash sin x plus 2y so 1 by 3 d of sin x plus 2y in the denominator we have 9d square plus 8d d dash. Now we substitute the value. My denominator is 9 into d square is minus 1 plus 8 into d d dash that is minus 2. So I will be getting minus 9 minus 16 minus 25. So my denominator is non-zero. We can proceed. So my PI is going to be 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 22 and we have the numerator d of sin x plus 2y. So d of sin x plus 2y means differentiation of sin x plus 2y partially with respect to x. It is going to be cos x plus 2y and x plus 2y differentiation with respect to x is 1. So this is my pi. So finally my pi is minus 1 by 75 cos x plus 2y and we write the solution z equal to cf plus pi. Now another trick or another method to crack this problem 7d d dash square minus 6d dash cube into z is equal to sin x plus 2y so this is an alternate method so when you write your exams mention somewhere this alternate method so in this method what you're going to do we don't want to find d square d d dash d dash square etc i'm going to simply use the trick as like your type 1 d is replaced by a d dash is replaced by b that is d is replaced by 1 d dash is replaced by 2 now my denominator my denominator is 1 minus 7 into 1 into 2 square minus 6 into 
to q 1 minus 28 minus 48 so it is going to be minus 75 now how to solve the problem this is very important so we found the denominator is minus 75 very important it is not equal to 0 if it is 0 then we have to proceed as usual pre multiply with x and differentiate the denominator partially with respect to t so now let us go into the pi my pi is 1 divided by my denominator that is minus 75 now how to solve the problem we have to go to the question again now let us go back to the question and we see the highest derivative of d here the highest derivative of d is 3 so i am going to take this 3 that means i have to integrate the problem thrice if it is d square then i have to integrate twice now the question is sin x plus 2y i am going to take this so sin t dt 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 you have to write this this is very important where t equal to x plus 2y so now integration of sin t is when you do first time you will be getting minus cos t when you integrate second time you will be getting minus sin t when you integrate third time sin t integration is minus cos t already there is one minus minus into minus plus cos t so the answer is cos t problem over guys very simple so minus 1 by 75 but very important when you write the final answer you should not write t we have to put the value of t so cos x plus 2y that's it also very important when you write this method in exams mention alternative method then you can follow whatever the method you like whatever the method is easy for you but this is very easy now what is the important thing in this alternative method we used to put d is a and d dash is b as like in type 1 simply for e power ax plus ba also we do this procedure same so if you follow this method you don't want to remember what is d square what is about d d dash and d dash square so whatever it is easy for you you just follow now let us go into one more problem for your more confidence 2 d square minus 5 d d dash plus 2 d dash square into z is equal to 5 times sin 2x plus y so when you find the auxiliary equation i'm writing directly 2m square minus 5 m plus 2 equal to 0. Use your calculator 991ms to find the roots. The roots are m minus 2 into m minus 1 by 2 equal to 0. That is m equal to 2 comma 1 by 2. You can write the CF F1 of y plus 2x F2 of y plus x by 2. CF gets over. Now let us crack the PI. My PI is 1 divided by 2d square minus 5d d dash plus 2d dash square 5 times sin 2x plus y. So d should be replaced by a. Here a is 2 from the question and d dash should be replaced by b that is equal to 1. Now let us check the denominator. So 2 into d square 4, 5 into 2 into 1 plus 2. My denominator is going to be 8 minus 10 plus 2 that is 0. So if your denominator is 0 as usual we have to follow the steps. I will take this 5 here pre-multiply x and differentiate the denominator partially with respect to d. So 4d minus 5d dash sin 2x plus y. Again calculate the denominator this time we have to calculate from here 4 into 2 minus 5 into 1. 8 minus 5 is 3. It is not equal to 0. Now I am going to write my denominator is not equal to 0. Already 5x is there. 5x divided by 3. Now we have to see this not this because this is already over. So we have to see the latest one. The denominator is 1 by 4d minus 5 d dash. Now you have to check the highest derivative of d. So the highest derivative of d is 1 here. So we integrate once sin t dt very important where t equal to 2x plus 5. So integration of sin is minus cos. So minus 5x by 3 cos you write the value of t. This is going to be my pi. So it is very easy and finally you write z equal to cf plus pi. Problem gets over. Okay, finally we see one more very simple problem d square minus d dash square. So this is very easy. Order 2 e power x plus 2y plus sin 2x minus y. So since this is type 2, I am going to find pi 
alone. You can find the CF and you can find the PI1. So this problem solution, general solution is CF plus PI1, PI2. My concern is about PI2. So I'm directly doing PI2. 1 by D square minus D dash square sin 2X minus Y. Now as usual D should be replaced by A. Here it is 2 and D dash should be replaced by B. Here it is minus 1. So my denominator is 2 square minus of minus 1 whole square. So 4 minus minus 1 that is 3. So the problem become very simple since my denominator is non-zero I am going to finish the problem. Pi is equal to 1 by 3. Now you check the highest derivative of d it is 2. So double integral sin t dt dt it is very important right where t equal to 2x minus y. Now so integration of sin t first time is minus cos t then you integrate again you will be getting minus sin t. Therefore, my Pi is equal to 1 by 3 minus sin. When you write the final answer, substitute the value of t, 2x minus y. So, my, my answer is minus 1 by 3 sin 2x minus y. This is for Pi 2. Similarly, you can try Pi 1 which is type 1. I will write the answer directly. So, Pi 1 is going to be minus 1 by 3 e power x plus 2y. And my CF is f1 of y minus x plus f2 of y minus minus 2x and very important there is one mark for writing the final answer so write z equal to cf plus pi1 plus pi2 and then substitute this values to get the final answer thanks for watching the videos kindly subscribe our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video thank you